Bernstein was one of the most interesting musicians I met in my life. Uh, certainly Karajan, Kondrashi, Giulini, Boulez uh, should also be counted here. Uh, but I met him in a very long span of time. It was uh, more than 15 years we played together. We started with Stravinsky. Later I played both, Beethoven, uh, both Brahms concertos with him and was touring with him in, in Europe. Uh, then came the project of uh, Beethoven concertos. And in one of the concerts, he asked me, will you play this piece with me on my 100th birthday? I said, of course. <laughs> and two years later, he was dead. And the time passed so quickly, suddenly I realized around 2015 that, wait a second, 2018 is Bernstein's 100th birthday. We have to celebrate this. You know, Poland in the 50s, in the 60s, was a very poor country. And the instruments which we had from pre-war, mostly Steinways, Bechsteins, Bösendorfers, uh, you had no access to spare parts. You had no access to anything where you could exchange. So practically, one had to do it oneself. I was always doing handy, you know, man work. I actually built the whole apartment here in Tokyo myself. And uh, it's, it was always a lot of fun to, to work with the piano as an instrument because it's incredibly complex. And you change a small thing and suddenly it's a different instrument. And I learned through a group of seven tuners who were in charge of, of these over 50 instruments which we had in our school. Uh, how to maintain them, how to repair them. And basically, when you broke something, you received a sew from the guy and you were sewing a piece of wood so long until it looked like this piece you, you just destroyed. So that's how it started. Today, I indeed carry a keyboard at least or a whole piano and I'm able to adjust the piano to the acoustic within half an hour to one hour. I can actually make the piano embedded in the acoustical features. Today, all these machines are not necessary because it's enough to clasp the hands three times and I know the low frequencies, the middle, the high, and I can tell you exactly what to do in a concert hall and how to adjust the piano. But I urge pianists especially to be interested in the instruments because we had so many different instruments in the past. I hope for a few more years, not many, a few more years, to share with the Japanese audience that what moves my heart. You know, like when you come to someone's house, you bring flowers or you bring, bring a bottle of wine. I come here and I bring a piece which I'm fascinated about and I love so much that I would love to share it with my beloved audience because I have to tell you for these 47 years, I see the same faces in the audience. The same person sitting sometimes on the same seat for the last 40 years. I, I feel like coming home to my old friends and it's a wonderful feeling, absolutely wonderful feeling.